I just bumped somebody in that tea tree just there. Seeing a lot of it, probably two, maybe three. I just bedded up in that tea tree. Didn't know they were there. And they've only ran into that bush. Thick as in there, you won't find them, but the buggers are here. I had a fox sitting there in front of me about 100 metres. So I just whacked him with the 386. <laughs> Don't think he's going to be real flash. Did a bit of a run, but so I don't know whether I just went past through or what, but around about 30 metres. I'll go and see what he's like. There he is, just here. Not dead, but he's hiding. I'm just making my way up to that um, bush line there, probably up where those big, oh, big bushy trees are. The farmer said he's been seeing deer up right up the top there. There's a bit of a flat up there, a bit of a grassed area, and um, he's been regularly seeing some fallow up there. So I'm just going to sit up there and we'll see if anything comes out now or after dark. I've got the um, the ATN thermal, so I'll just sit up there and. Yeah, spend a few hours just sit and wait and see if anything presents. Well, there's a doe from last night. We just had a wedge tail. <laughs> wedge tail's helped himself. And the other one is just over here. Chris is the other one. Well, we, we butchered up those deer this morning and we've left the carcasses out for, um, for uh, the wedge tail eagles. Darcy come for a wander down here before and said there's a fox hanging around. <clears throat> so Finn's gonna see if he can snipe up the two to three. Cause uh, yeah, they're not real keen on the foxes up here. So fingers crossed we can get it. But we got the wind on our back, that's the only problem. up there on that bit of a rise up there that's where I shot the two last night with the thermal and right up on the back there that you can see the sort of back paddock up the top there that's where I bumped three the first morning I was here so Finn and I are going to head up there now and there's a spot there you can sit behind a big log and sort of got a view of that whole flat area up the top we're going to head up there now and just sit till uh yeah, the death knock. Wood ducks.
there's another one there. There's two. brown one and a, a tan colour. Ah, oh, Finn. Mate, you've bloody drilled him. Reload, reload, reload. Where's that brown one? Yeah, we'll just wait. He's dropped that one. <laughs> oh, you beauty. Good. Wait for the brown one, mate. It'll pop out. Oh, dude. Finny, mate, killed it. Oh, there it goes. Reload, reload. Mate, that thing just dropped in a spot. Oh, dude. So proud of you, mate. So proud of you, boy. Eh? All right, dude. Just missed that chocolate one, too. Are you happy with that? Yeah, first fellow. Is that your first fellow, is it? Yep. Oh, mate, that's sick. My first one was a samba. Well, when I come up this the other morning, where that big, that big yellow tree is with the yellow flower on it, just to the left of that, in the tea tree, I bumped three in there. Hey Dad, with How that you, chocolate I, one, yeah. missed him by like that. Oh, oh mate, you didn't miss that one. <laughs> <laughs> that was awesome, mate. Yeah, buddy. I'm getting in behind those weeds. Yeah, dude. Hey. He's got a nice hide. Yeah, it's a beautiful colour. All right, let's get up there and have a look at him. And second gear. <laughs> Finn, his first fellow, mate. Have a look at it. Golden box. Yeah, beautiful. You happy with that, mate? Yeah. I'd be bloody happy with that if I was 13. Mate, well done. I seen some, a fellow got me two days yesterday and I didn't know what to do because I had no gun with Yeah, he didn't have the gun. We've only, we've only come up here to sit up here, and uh, they were there when we got here. Beautiful. Well, this is what you call a proud dad moment. My oldest boy, 13, he's already shot a samba. First fellow. This thing dropped on the spot, you'll see in the video, but mate, I, am, I am wrapped. Like, I'm so proud to be with Finn for his first fellow. Um, we've yeah, put a few hunts in and things haven't panned out, but mate, this to perfection. <laughs> we're actually coming up onto this, up onto here. We're gonna, there's a log over there. We're gonna sit and just wait for something to come out. You know, last light, that sort of thing. And we just walked up and we were just about to get to the log. And yeah, old um, number, this one here, the white one, was glowing like a an angel up on the hill there. Um, we didn't see that chocolate one. I didn't even see that till after he shot this one and the, the chockey ran. But um, yeah, I'm pumped, happy as. And we uh, yeah, bleed it out and uh, butcher it up. And, uh, yeah, it pretty much bled out. It was the next shot and uh, yeah, it's made a decent wound out the exit hole there. But um, yeah, on the spot, didn't move a metre. So perfect. Um, he waited a while. I just said to him, you know, if there's a 
bit of tussock around. I said, just let let him, you know, get a op nice open, clear shot, which he did, and I'm so proud of him. Well done, mate. Thanks, Dad. Yeah, all right. Now the fun begins. I've got the back, stra back straps and uh, boned out the back legs. It's not much on the front of her. It's not very big. But, um, yeah, decent bit of meat on me back now. Got a bit of a fair walk down this, all the way down this valley to the end. Back to the farmhouse. Dad, look behind you. What have we got? <laughs> oh, got a few grooves up there. Ready for their dinner. Yeah, one of them come to about when I was boning the back leg out, it ran to about bloody 10 metres from us. I realised what we were doing and said, I'm out of here. Hey, Finny. Yeah. I reckon we're going to make it home for tea, mate. <laughs> hey, what do you reckon? <laughs> yep. Hey? When we get back after dark and there's a bowl or a plate of cold something sitting there for us at camp, but. We might get some warm food tonight. What do you reckon? Yep. Hey. Got about a oh it's about a mile walk back to camp. It's not too bad. It's just through the paddock, so take our time. Might even come across another one, usually about halfway back to the farmhouse. We might even is see a, a fox Yeah, might see a fox, but um it's usually a route where they they cross from one sort one um ridge line come across these trees in the middle of the property and then up the other side so yeah you'll be sitting at camp and sometimes you'll see six seven of them bolting across there in the nine o'clock nine thirty in the morning earlier sometimes but might be lucky well, i've got three deer anyway so i don't think we really need any more meat just topping the freezers up but, um, Oh, if an easy one presents, we, we won't say no. <laughs>